and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Now I'm in Act 2 of the Carnival Night Zone and I got bubbles. Yee, bubbles, 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 my bubbles. Oh, and games are fun to play. Or is still here with me. Hello, everybody. <laughs> you make it hard to do grammar when I say your name. Games are fun to play. Are still here with me is what I said. <laughs> Ugh. Just kind of just thought of that on the spot, you know. Yeah, well, I, I like I like the username. I wish I would have thought of that. My username is stupid. Eat more Pringles 2004. What the heck was I thinking? And you know, I've been meaning to ask you, how did you come up with that? It's an interesting username? story. I've I've told this story once before, and uh, it was a part of my uh, Let's Play New Super Mario Brothers Wii, where I told the story of how I got started making Let's Plays. See, what happened was. I did have a co-op partner initially, but he since left me, unfortunately. He didn't want any part of making Let's Play videos anymore, so that was kind of sad. But we went with the username Eat More Pringles because he, he's a huge fan of Chick-fil-A. And one of his email addresses is like Eat More Chicken something something. And uh, Pringle was my nickname in high school, so we just kind of joined our names together for that. So it was like it turned out to be Eat More Pringles. And the 2004 is the year we both graduated high school. So, but yeah, once he left, I got sort of stuck with that username. Which I don't mind it. I, I don't mind it at all. But if I had known he was gonna ditch me, I would have just gone with my PlayStation Network username, which is Pringle two sixteen eighty six. Well, I certainly think it's a unique username. I've never heard it anything used like that before. I like it. Oh, thank you. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not a Pringle crazy person or something. Like oh yeah, and. Uh, Tails is experiencing some slowdown right here. It's a glitch that happens sometimes when he comes back. If you're controlling at the same time, it can't help it. So I just decided to ditch him here. So there's nothing I can do for him. <laughs> so it's a glitch that sometimes happens in the game. It makes him slow. See how slow he is now? Yeah. So it's unfortunate. It happens very rarely, but I think this is the only time it ever happens that I know of. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah, here's almost the infamous part. Here's like a precursor to it. You gotta go, oh, that's frustrating. You gotta go up and down, up and down. Oh, 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 oh I hate it. Oh. But yeah, Games Are Fun to Play it has an LP finished of Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, which is a 16-bit remake of Kirby's Adventure, isn't it? Yep, that's correct. That's an interesting LP. I, I enjoyed watching that. I, I watched the first episode of it, but isn't there 10 parts of it? Uh, 10 or 11, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I know I watched the first episode, but I, I think I've missed episodes 2 through, like, 5, to be honest. I'm sorry. That's all right. Invisible wall. Your knuckles has sorceress powers. Get <laughs> break through. I don't know what the, what's up with that. It's an invisible wall you can't break through. You know... You know how uh, Snow was saying that Sonic's a twit? I really think that Knuckles is a twit in this game. He's all smug. Like, hey, hey, hey you can't reach me through this invisible wall, and now I'm going to press a button. Yeah, he's a jerk. <laughs> yeah, Snow is actually not her real name. It's just the alias she uses for YouTube or whatever. She doesn't want, she doesn't want her real name revealed, so I won't say it. But that's her nickname because... The way her hair used to be, it was like really short and dark, and it kind of reminded people of Snow White. So, mm -hmm. That's why people call her Snow. So that's what she goes by, so whatever. I also find it funny that how Knuckle thinks that by turning off the lights that that's going to <laughs> prevent you from finishing the level somehow. <laughs> yeah, but if there's no power, then how is stuff still working around here? Look at that. I don't know. Yeah, the, like... Does Eggman have some sort of secret he's not telling us? Magic. That's my, that's my cop out for everything. You just say magic. Yeah, magic. magic. You know, he might be a scientist, but he, yeah, magic. <laughs> Yay. Magic always wins. Yeah, I'm totally going supersonic through most of this st stage. <laughs> uh, which I hear a rumor that uh, Yuji Naka was a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. That's the reason why Super Sonic looks like a Super Saiyan. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's just a rumor. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's true. Yuji Naka was a big fan of uh, Dragon Ball Z, and that's why uh, he changed from the first game how there were six Chaos Emeralds to seven to uh, simulate the Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball Z, and that's why when you get all seven of them, you go Super Sonic instead uh, to sim like replicate uh, Super Super Saiyan. Interesting. 
Yeah, I, uh, I love Dragon Ball Z now. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, I will admit. I'm not that much into anime, but that's one anime I do still love. You know, I watched it in high school, and I'm still to this day. I'm 25 years old, and I'm still a DBZ fan. Did you watch it on, uh, Toonami? Exactly. There was no other way to watch it. I miss, I miss Toonami so much. Yeah, you know, actually, there's a, a channel on YouTube called, uh, well, here's the Neo Toonami. Here's the infamous part I was talking about. Go, go on. <laughs> yeah, Neo Tsunami. It's pretty cool. It's this fan-made project, and they're doing a great job, and they're bringing back Tsunami and oh, Blast Processing. Yeah, that's Blast Processing right there. Yeah, that's hardcore. Mario can't do that. You're like, I love Mario, but you're right. He can't do that. So, but yeah, they, they need... Uh, they need quite a few more people to be watching. They've only got 2,000 subscribers as of now, and that's not a lot if they're trying to bring back uh, Toonami. So support Neo Toonami if you're a fan of that. Yay, I support. I guess. I'll, ch I'll definitely check it out. That sounds interesting. And I, when I say they're doing a good job, they really are. It looks, it looks like just a revamped of the old. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was, but when Toonami was around, I was uh, finishing up junior high and throughout high school is when the whole Toonami thing was taking place. And that was my era, I guess you'd say. I'm an old fogey now. I kind of wish they didn't get rid of it, though, because all the stuff on Cartoon Network now him, is pretty pills. lame. Get him, get him, get him. Yay. Oh, he ran away. He hit another button, then I went up. <laughs> and now Tails is left behind. Oh, there he is. Yep. Where the heck did he come from? The top of the screen. <laughs> he always catches. Oh, supersonic. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Tails has magic teleporting powers. Yes. Robotic cannot win against an invincible hedgehog and an immortal fox. Who, who could? <laughs> Nobody. I mean, that's a unbeatable duo. <laughs> yeah, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, that's the that's the end of Act Two, right? Right here, y'all yonder. You gotta hop in this mechanism and stay in it for a while. I try to get tails in there, but then he hops out. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> so well. But yeah, that'll do it for now. So be sure and check out Games Are Fun to Play his channel if you don't mind. He has an excellent Kirby LP on there, and he'll do other LPs later. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Say bye. See you later. Woo!